Hi, I'm Mike Richmond. This video is part of the extended learning program for graduates of courses from Exemplar Global Registered Training Providers. It's intended to show you where auditing can take you in your career as a quality professional. In this brief video, we chat with Mel DiGregorio, the owner of GreenUp Academy and GreenUp Consultants. Mel is an internationally accredited third-party lead auditor by Exemplar Global for ISO 14001, ISO 45001, OSIS, RC 14001, and environmental health and safety regulatory compliance audits. In addition to her role as a consultant, lead auditor, and lead facilitator at GreenUp, she was a corporate EHS manager for a Tyco International Division, air pollution control engineer at the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, and a production resource environmental coordinator at Frito-Lay. Mel, thanks for joining us. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having me. Of course, thank you. Well, let's start with this. What are the qualities that you've taken from auditing? Oh my goodness, there are so many. Auditing is awesome. I I have been enjoying auditing quite some time and there is so much to learn. You learn something in each audit, right? Um, from networking to conflict management, you know, sometimes there could be some situations between your team and the client. Um, I have, you make, you make a lot of friends, not to mention I still have some dearest friends, uh, some of my clients. Um, and it, it helps you to get out of your comfort zone. And, you know, sometimes there are confrontations that you're going to learn how to manage them professionally. So that way, um, seeing different uh, processes, learning how things things uh, are being made um, yeah those are only some of them although I gotta mention uh, it may not be always ideal of course to go to Wisconsin in the middle of January or to uh, Phoenix in the middle of August but still I have been grateful and I've been learning in each audit since I've been in both those places in both those seasons, so I know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> so let's talk about environmental management. There, there's uh, differences, obviously, in environmental management versus, uh, say, risk management or, or quality management. Uh, how would you characterize the, the commonalities as well as the differences uh, in auditing to these various uh, schemes and sectors and standards? Right. Well, um, all of them, they're, they're kind of a framework, right? Especially if it's coming from an ISO standard, whether it's 14,001 environmental management, 9,000 quality or 45,001 health and safety, it's all about a framework and certain elements um, are going to be the, the same, right? Like from um, the requirements of having a, whether an environmental policy, quality policy to, uh, to the requirements of doing an internal audit of your entire management system, management review, etc. But I think where environmental management is kind of different from the other schemes is mainly on the regulatory area because environmental regulations could easily become a uh, uh, for the lack of a better word, an overburden, or it could be a little beast, you know, comparing to um, other schemes real quickly, especially if you don't have the background on the environmental um, uh, regulatory side. So um, that's, um, and also even in comparing to health and safety, environmental still could be a little bit on the tougher side because in most cases it's case by case situation, you know, and also each state could have additional requirements for each environmental program. Um, but other than that, um, and other than that, it's just, again, you stay within the framework. It's just about auditing the the system that's in place whether or not uh, they're conforming to their internal system and the standards basically so you are uh, obviously a, an expert auditor a, a, a expert consultant what made you you get into training in addition to that and 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 what do you find to be the the value of training uh, for somebody as they, they build their career yeah, well, um, training is is crucial for an auditor, right? You always have to improve yourself. I mean, uh, regulations change, standards change, requirements, circumstances, uh, things are changing. So it's it's very important for an auditor to be able to bring value to their clients, whether you're just an auditor or your auditor and a consultant. It's very important to be able to catch up with the um, the new things, adapt to change while they're happening, right? So hence the training is extremely crucial that way um the way i got into training is that i've been uh, i've been auditing for quite some time now and um i did audits in um 44 out of 50 states in the u.s i audited in england canada mexico and turkey um 
And I've, I witnessed that um, in most cases, there are these incredible professionals who want to do the right thing, but they just were not offered the proper tools, which comes with a good, effective training, you know? So seeing this um, times after time, so I'm like, well, you know, why don't we just um, focus a, a whole entity into uh, environmental health and safety training so that we can bring some good uh, quality, effective and fun training solutions to to these people. So that was the idea. And since I have the I had the privilege to see the uh, industrial operational sides of the EHS world regulatory side and auditing consulting side. So that gave me an additional advantage, I think, to be able to provide a good quality training to to folks. And, and finally, in the, the minute or two we have left here, um, what advice would you give to uh, people that are newly in this space, uh, new auditors, uh, if they eventually want to you know, perhaps get into consulting and do, do some of the work that you do? Right, right. Well, auditing is great. Not that I'm biased or I'm doing for a living or anything, but <laughs> I think I think it's a great field. I mean, it's just um, you learn so much. You meet with great professionals, and you you bring so much value to people too. You know, in addition, so I think the the main thing is to make sure that you feel comfortable and you have the um, proper competencies to be able to whichever scheme you're going to be auditing. You know, whether it's the environmental health and safety area, quality, or something else, uh, make sure that the competencies are there, you feel comfortable, right? Of course, experience kind of adds up to the competency too. And then, um, you know, just go out there and do it. Always, always stay within <clears throat> professionalism, have your have your um, values and ethics to stick to them. There could be some difficult confrontational situations, but if you stick to your values, you know you're gonna you're gonna do just fine and in terms of uh consulting i always say that listen to your clients needs don't try to give them what you think they should have necessarily but but hear them out first what they want what they need and then while providing what they want you can also add what you think they need because sometimes um in certain cases they may not necessarily know they may not know what they don't know so um just meet and ex exceed um their expectations basically to the best of your ability great advice i appreciate it well thank you melda gregorio for joining us today thanks mike